hello you're welcome back to my channel so finally i made a butterfly root skirt for myself and if you like to know how come with me let's do this together so i folded my fabric into two and i'm marking my zipper allowance and because i want to cut the back and the front bodices together i like to fold this fabric into two again and that means i'm folding it into four so being careful to place it on the line that i marked for my zipper allowance and making sure that everywhere is smooth and flat i will mark at the top edge of my fabric my waistline i'm just drawing a line there to indicate my waistline then from the waistline i will measure about eight inches downwards and that will be for my hip line so on the waistline i'm placing one foot of my Wear circumference and I'm doing the same thing on the hip line one foot of my hip circumference and I'm taking that one foot of my hip circumference all the way down because this is gonna be a simple straight skirt you need all the room at the hem there for you to be able to move properly so I'm connecting the dots from the waist line to the hip line and all the way to the hem and for the ruches I'll just make do with what I have left now and because I want it to be in uniform I will have to use what I have at the hip line and then use the measurement to measure that on the waist line and then use all the way down the same thing so cutting it out now I am cutting my ruches and because this other part is unfold I'll just slit it open all the way to the hem now, if you're new here, please massage that subscribe button, like, and share this video. It might be useful to someone. So after cutting this out, I will notch it at the waistline there about half inch. And I'll be using that to do the hemming all the way around. For my waistband, I'm using my, my waist circumference plus two inches as the length. And I'm using three inches as the height. So, so far, I've added zipper to the back bodies and on the front bodies, I want to mark my midpoint. At the hem too, I'll mark my midpoint. And because I've already hemmed it, I won't be able to notch. I'll simply use a chalk to mark the midpoint at the hem there. So, I'm, I'll be making a straight line from the midpoint I have on my waistline. I'll make a straight line using a ruler from the waistline there to my hem. And this will become our grid line. On this grid line, I'll be measuring one foot of my waist circumference and hip circumference, you know, on both sides. So on the waist line, I'll measure one foot of it and place it on the waist line. And I'll do the same thing to the hip line. Afterwards, I'll be connecting the dot from the waist line there to the hem. So when I'm done with that, I will place the front on the back bodies and make sure that everything is aligned. And at the waistline, waistline, I will take in about half inch. Okay, so we'll have a neat look on the outside. I'll just sew it inwards. And that will be before I will now tread on the mark that we have, we have formed using the grid line. Okay. So because it's a butterfly skirt, we have this line traced out on both sides. So I'll just simply trade on that line and I'll make half inch for casing for my elastic. I'll be using half inch elastic for, for the ruches and then I'll pass it through that channel. So at first I measured 26, that was the length of the skirt I wanted. But after using that, it was dragging, and so I had to reduce it with about 10 to 14 inches, okay? Then it sat just the way I wanted it. So I'm passing the half-inch elastic through the channel that I formed. Be careful to secure it when you're doing this so the elastic will not go inwards, and you have to do this two times. So I'll secure it at the hem, and then take it to the waistline and secure it as well with a pin you know at this point i'm i'm securing them with pins i will take it to the machine and then 
sew that part down so i did this to both sides okay and for the west circumference for the west band i'll be using the band that i've already you know prepared about interface and that's the length of it iron half inch inward so i'll use this to sew to the west all round and that will be it for this skirt so i'd like to appreciate all my subscribers for staying put with me okay and if you're new here and you like my content please subscribe and be part of us thank you so much i'll see you in my next video